In our series Climate Watch, we're focusing on the surging demand for energy in the U.S. It's growing significantly for the first time in decades. Experts say it's forecast to hit record highs both this year and next, straining the nation's aging power grid and creating more planet warming emissions. A big part of the demand is from a growing number of data centers across the nation. And listen to this from the rise of artificial intelligence. Senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy traveled to Utah to learn about the race to find enough electricity to power the future. And these fans are cooling our data centers. On a rooftop near Reno, Nevada, Amanda Peterson Corio wanted us to see these whirling fans. They're cooling these endless rows of servers and miles of cable, the arteries of the internet inside a Google data center. It's hard to imagine that there is a physical location where the internet lives, but this is it. Is this everything from like somebody's doing a Google search, somebody's watching a cat video, and that's all coming through here? Absolutely. It's all that and more. As the global head of data center energy, her job is to find more juice to keep the company's power-hungry machines humming. A single data center can use as much power as 80,000 U.S. homes. It's going to take innovation to really think about how are we going to scale this faster uh, to keep up with the pace of growth. The nation's roughly 2,700 data centers are mostly run by big tech firms and consumed more than 4% of all electricity in the U.S. in 2022. That's projected to more than double to 9% by 2030. It's already taxing the nation's aging power grid, and the demands of artificial intelligence are just beginning to grow. A chat GPT query uses nearly 10 times the electricity of a typical internet search. Is this amount of electricity use sustainable? It's a real challenge. As we look to the next decade, those demands continue to grow. And the real challenge um, is figuring out how can we can do this in a way that meets our climate goals. Google's planet warming emissions rose by 13 percent last year and have jumped nearly 50 percent since 2019. The company has invested heavily in wind and solar and says 64 percent of the time its operations run on clean energy. But when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing, data centers still rely on dirty fossil fuels that contribute to climate change. So big tech is now scrambling to bring more clean power to the grid. We can develop large projects that will really move the needle on the electric grid and climate change. Tim Latimer is CEO of Fervo Energy, which is partnering with Google to boost geothermal power, harnessing carbon-free heat from deep inside the earth. How far down are you drilling here? Right now we're at about 12,200 feet. And by the time we get there, the temperature is over 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now, geothermal accounts for less than 1% of electricity in the U.S., but Fervo wants to change that. How big of a solution can this be? Yeah, we think that geothermal could be as much as 20% of the U.S. electricity grid. Google plans to use Fervo's geothermal power to help run its Nevada data centers, and eventually others around the world, aiming to eliminate its use of coal and gas by 2030. We need something that has that reliability that works 24-7, uh, to get us all the way there. So when the sun is not shining and the wind is not blowing, this thing's still cranking. The earth is still hot. <laughs> For CBS Mornings, I'm Ben Tracy in Utah.